Okay, let's play. Oh, okay, that's okay. Hey, hey, come on, wake up, uh, wake up. Uh, Thank God you're all right. Ah, okay, God, my leg is jammed. It's jammed in here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let me help. So all I do is just kind of press a click. That's uh, 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 broken. That's broken. I'm kind of stuck under the bloody rudder pedal. Anything I can do? Uh, uh, see if there's a first aid kit around, would you? Should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. Okay, got it. So green. Green is caring, the red is panic and freaking out type of thing. Okay. I think they're Australian. I might have already said that. Sounds <laughs> painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, it's not going to last forever, though. Oh, where are we? Hopefully, not out of range of the radio masts. Mayday, Mayday, this is Alpha Romeo Lima. I crashed south of Deception. Coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Come on. Hello, Faraday, do you read? There's something blinking over there. That's nothing. Do you think you can move? Excuse me, fellow uh, sneeze. Uh, uh, well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. Not in this weather either. Yeah, that too. At least I saved the plane. Hey, hey, you see that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts at Deception Point. That should be it there. Maybe they've got a doctor. Yeah, I think I can see. So can you make it? What, I gotta leave you? Make it? It's, it's freezing out there. Would you rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death? Uh, we, we, we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. Your fairy godmother's not gonna magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? Okay. How far away do you think it is? It could be five, ten miles. Can you make it? We don't really have a choice, do we? Yeah. Good man. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be something here. I, uh, Keep a box for emergencies. I think this qualifies. Yeah. Flares. Keep an eye out. I'll open this window and send one up on the hour to help you get your bearings. Hey! Hey, you here? Uh, I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. Uh, I'll be back. 
As soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Okay, that wasn't that far. <laughs> Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um... It's easier with both of us, don't you think? All right. Um, on three. One, two, three. That's my fault. It's How heavy fault. is the suitcase oh, for even need. a guy not to be able to lift it? <laughs> like, come oh. on. Uh, there you go. Teamwork. I, I, um, I could have managed. I'm sure, yes. Thank you. Right, um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Uh, all right, thank you. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Still, someone's got to mark it. You're, you're marking all of that? I'm trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Um, feel free to to me if it helps <laughs> it might thank you uh, long journey yes all the way from Edinburgh uh, I thought she was Scottish where are you headed I wasn't too sure Bridge. and you are too I can see that you can see how my suit. I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon? Your book fell onto the seat. Oh, oh. ah. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Formulation of complex cloud patterns by G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. Read it. Mm. I had to set this one for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. You're lecturing too. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Likewise. Ah. Uh, enjoying it? I am very much. Thank you. Dr. Hamilton. Clara McCarrick. How'd you do? 
doctor. Oh, your uh, bookmark. Oh, oh, uh, don't worry. It's just a just a telegram. Oh, your uh, your telegram. It's Sorry. Nothing. It's nothing. Just something from my professor. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to see that, was I? It's completely fine, really. Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Your son's just like my old one. My office, we need to talk about your work. Like we're still at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future. Deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. <laughs> uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. How many students make it to them? <clears throat> oh, uh, hundreds. <laughs> That's a lot of undergraduates. Maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh. oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? So is is that technically me then? That is a lot of chemical drugs. I mean, I, I might be wrong, but... Hey, Corvus Hayden. How are you doing today? Can I get in? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello? I have a feeling probably nobody's there. You just woke up. So, do come and see me if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. Oh, he only had three people. Three students show up. You can leave if you like. It's over. Or do you have a question? I do, in fact. Oh, yeah, it's the Scottish girl. Uh, yes. Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Yeah, it, it is over here, too. Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. Oh, you did? Nice. I managed to get a key for it. Uh, liked it? I got one cent. You're too bad. Huh. Well, I'm, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. Because I, I thought I recognized I it when you uh, said about Finding it the other day. The I was like, I'm pretty sure it applied for a key for that. It, it is fascinating. You're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. Uh, oh, you were paying attention, too. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. 
A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, oh, okay. I can't say no once I found my beautiful subject. I'm definitely looking you. forward to trying it out. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too soon sometimes. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. Oh, uh, well, why, why not? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your papers. Yeah, that's probably my downside to stuff. <laughs> through this door or do I go up step oh okay lady pictures up there so there's definitely a guy that was living here there's a cigarette still burning so there's definitely someone here oh there's a door there is a door oh what's this I don't even know what the hell that is. Uh, okay. Maybe I should have gone upstairs. But I don't know. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing really in that room. We can still try it out and see what happens. No, my luck, everybody will probably die to begin with because that everybody usually does in any uh, choice type games that I play. <laughs> Hopefully, there's somebody in this shack. Oh, cool! That's that's a mini cow on, like, kind of implemented snow wheels. That's cool. Hello. Well, there's a radio, at least. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? Oh. A 
said he can come in. Doors open. Peter. Oh, hello there. Sorry. Ah, good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No visitor. You got my note, I presume? Uh... I did. But I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? It's still very much work in progress. <clears throat> and most of them are, are just uh, weather readings from my contacts in South America. Not much to read here. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. Uh, uh, you'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. Good grief! I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm just trying to knock out oh. some of these first. More of them today, I see. Getting ready for another march, I suppose. And I can't quite believe how many women. But yeah, it's in the list. The more they it's in the list for today. In, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. Not built for academic work, I fear. I really don't see why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. Can't stand all this politics in my college. Wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. To me? That's right. Sit down. Okay. What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. Up, here we go. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. Very happy to help, always. As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to persuade these people that this college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch. <laughs> the breeding ground for communism. I need to show we're well, serious about what we do, and what I need from you is something publishable. Uh, Absolutely. That's, that's what I intend to write. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. I will. Of, of course I will. It's been three years. Sure you understand what I'm saying? Not quite. Is this paper really taking up so much of your ample brain power? I mean, your position isn't necessarily permanent. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. That's all. Hey, little dark rooms oh, are not always uh, that bad. I like my house dark. One more thing. <laughs> Do not like light here, that much. Things have been a little fraught. Like even you with, noticed, it's even not just with my windows and stuff, I just, I always close the curtains. You know I don't like it being bright in the house. Of course I do. Then you'll be as shocked as I am. A Soviet spy ring. Recruited right here in Cambridge. Passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang me for things like this. What, what? Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four might now be the Cambridge Five. They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. 
So I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. Oh, I wonder if... Absolutely. You oh, God damn it, I was going to choose that too. Um, oh. I'll see myself out. You carry on. I wonder if our lady has something to do with it. is abandoned. Hello? Uh, that's impossible. They have, to, they have to have someone stationed here all year round. Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev There's everyone's pizza. things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they, it's like they've all vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. Take them a vehicle and hit it out. Maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. That doesn't sound right. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Like, like they've been fighting? Well, maybe. Or, or maybe there was an emergency. Someone got sick or something. Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. Give me a second. I had to sort my character out then, she was kind of starting twitching. Can you hear me? Out, in, out into that again? No. Where would I go? Back to you? No, no. Don't come back, Peter. Took you two hours to get there. You come back here and then oh. where are we? Back to square one. Well, why do we get the keys, get the car, go get him, and... I don't know for sure, but it's possible that the base you're in might have been attacked. Attacked? This is a research station. Well, that doesn't make, this make it sound good. No. D don't be ridiculous, Floyd. We're, we're not at war. being paranoid, Floyd. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. I don't like this. I... I think I should come back. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here, but if you come back and I can't, then go back at square one. Get out to have us both on their case. Well, there's keys right there. It's got to be for the car, right? What about you? There's a map here. A map? Right. Well, what's on it? I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Okay, okay, great. Anything more from there? There are more buildings to the north. Do you know what they are? Oh, more buildings. I know the Norwegian station down here too. That, that'll be the Norwegian base. Well, I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat by the Soviets. Don't worry. The Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray that there's someone there when you arrive. Yes. Uh, go 
got them. I've got them. Cathedral Rock? Um, up ahead, there's, there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. C Cathedral Rock. Looks like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. I've got my hands. That's all. Just make sure you send those right. flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? But wouldn't it make sense for me to come pick him up in Remember that car and then we can both go together though? I mean, I don't know how much gas is in that car, but still. Okay, so we've got full gas. It makes sense for me to go pick him up. But I guess we're not going to. There's a road there. <laughs> Thanks for picking me up like that. I was like, Matt's what the hell are those so lights for? I must have looked a terrible feat. You must be freezing. I don't know what happened. The bus just didn't turn up. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting it's the other side of the road. I'm so used to the road here now, I keep forgetting that the UK is the opposite. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. So this is your grand tome about the clouds. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Of course. I mean, if you can understand them. Excuse me. I did I'm mean it to goodness. What? Do you have a right to be here? You know, I have earned my place. Okay. What are you talking about? Well, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't want to read them anyway if you don't think I can understand them. No, 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 no. I, I meant they're probably illegible. I meant you might not be able to read them. That's all. Oh, oh sorry. Just, oh, I get that kind of thing a lot. I'm a bit sensitive. Frostwise. I thought, thought you'd morphed into my old professor there. My office. See me. Anyway, sorry. As I said, don't worry. I mean, <clears throat> t take a look if you like. Oh, uh, thank you. I can see you're an excellent note taker. Well, the rest is probably classified, <laughs> top secret. And where is yours, may I ask? May I read that? Stop it. You haven't started it, I know. I will. I haven't had three years. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit low. I'm just a bit tired at the moment. My proposal was rejected again yesterday. It needs more work. You can talk to me, you know. 
I know what it's like trying to find the right subject. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever find it. My friend Molly's nearly finished hers, and here I am, not even at the starting line. Well, if you're anything like as successful as you are with your lectures, you'll be fine. Thanks. Doctor. I'll, uh, I'll just put these thief down here. <laughs> Cambridge. Even on a day like this, I do love this journey. In the rain, you mean? Yes. Well, I'm enjoying it too. Picking you up in this mighty steed. <laughs> oh, yes. Who needs a big bus when you can have a car like this? Your presence tells me this is obviously better for picking up ladies. Oh, well, you can just about put one in if that's what you mean. Anyway, this bus will do just fine. Thanks again for getting me out of the rain like that. It was... Extremely kind of me. No, uh, no it was an inconvenience. It, it, it won't happen oh, again. Oh, was that a bump in the street or something? <laughs> Why'd that go slow? BBC. Talks began today in Washington between Britain, the United States, and Soviet Russia over the renewal of the Antarctic Treaty, which forbids any acts of military aggression in Antarctica. Reports of recent skirmishes on the continent have established the need to reaffirm the worldwide commitment to peace. All eyes will be on Russia, whose reported reluctance to rejoin the talks is a point of concern for the British government. In a statement read outside the White House, Prime Minister Macmillan called on Russia to engage in the talks wholeheartedly to ensure a lasting peace in the nuclear era. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm still driving. Alrighty. So would that be Cathedral Point that I'm coming up to? I still reckon we should have gone back for him. I'd rather have wasted a little bit of gas than expecting to get there and then there'd probably be no gas to fill up the car and then he's going to be stuck there. That bus? What is that? Five, six in a row now? No, I counted seven, maybe. It'll never happen again. Oh, wait. Oh, look, there's Molly. Wow. I, I haven't seen her in ages. Can you just pull over and we can say hello? Okay. I don't know if y'all want to get with that mob, but Hiya. okay. Oh, it's wonderful to see. Well, you can't miss us all today. <laughs> is this your handsome bus driver? I didn't call him that. Molly, this is Peter. Peter, this is Molly. I've heard. Heard what? You'll be joining us, I hope. Uh, for what? Joining you here outside. On the big march? From Aldermaston, the atomic weapons factory. This time we're all going to start there, then march on London. Straight to Parliament. Tens of thousands of us. They'll have to listen to us this time. Four days walk, isn't that right? Four days? What's fuck that? <laughs> Seems a bit excessive. Worth to save the world, don't you think? It's a waste of time, isn't it? This is a waste of time. I'd like to know what really was worth someone's time. Oh, sorry. Uh, Peter, Molly is a lecturer at the college too, when she's not showing me the ropes or working on her opus. Oh, that's all done now. The paper's published. Oh, that's wonderful. Good riddance too. I couldn't bear having it hanging over me any longer. <clears throat> uh, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. I can focus on this for a while. Much more important. Do you think this will make a difference? But jolly well has to, don't you think? 
considering what's at stake. We're all under threat. I would have thought as a man of science you'd know all about it. Clara mentioned you'd been studying radiation carried by the clouds. Seems Clara's told you all my secrets. Well, I didn't know it was an official secret. Oh, nice. No, no, it's, it's not. It's not. That's... it's fine. The radiation is what's terrifying. One hydrogen bomb could kill one million people in an instant. But then the radiation spreads and could kill millions more. Slowly this time. The British government is building more bombs when they should be doing the opposite. Disarming. Setting yeah. an example to the world. I mean, that makes sense. It must be more complicated than that. Wouldn't the Soviets think we were weak if we did that? We're not naive, you know. We want the three sides to stop entrenching themselves. All this posturing of theirs can only end one way. It's got to be unilateral nuclear disarmament. Otherwise, every day we are one step closer to the end. Oh, I agree, although with any luck they'll thrash it out. And what if they don't? Right, uh, I've got a lecture to give. Peter, would you mind if I had a lift for the last mile? Of course not. It was good to meet you, Peter. It's good to meet you too. You're coming on the march, aren't you, Clara? I wouldn't miss it for anything. And you, Peter? I don't know. I, uh, I, I, I've rather too much work, actually. Uh, don't think I'll get away. Shame. Well, in the meantime, I'm sure Clara will take very good care of you. She will? That's enough, Molly Shanahan. We'll be off now. You go and get your bus, Clara. Ding, ding. <laughs> Impressive, isn't she? No more than you are. I love that I'm driving a Mini. I like Mini cars. Unless I get to Cathedral Point, then it'll save. small village over there I think or at least a couple buildings you know what I'm gonna say I've got a pretty good idea you need to get out more I have to work oh come on old chap I have to say I've <laughs> come on, really chap. understood it <laughs> here you are writing about clouds and yet you never see the sky hey very good it won't last forever. I'm... Uh oh. Whoops. I'm really getting somewhere this time. Well, let's see some of these words then, shall we? Come on. Man or mouse. It's always top secret, is it? You can trust me. <sighs> what do you think, Sam? I'm sure some of it is very good. Here. Some of it? I really have got a lot of work to do. It would seem so. Don't worry, old chap. Well, we'll hit that wall sometimes. It's all part of writing a paper. Oh, no, come on, don't be so modest, Sam. You dashed yours off in a few months. Well, maybe I was fortunate, but the point is... The point is, you set your sights straight and true, sat down and wrote the damn thing. It wasn't quite like that. Well, you did it, and now here you are, senior lecturer. Which makes two of us. <sighs> Joseph not mention he got a promotion too. It does tend to slip his mind for a few seconds occasionally. Well, you know what could be open to him if he gets this right and gets promotion? His own department, eventually. Professorship. Can't reach those heights if you stay in this 
hovel for the rest of your life. Well, that's true, but I wouldn't My point was that saying to Peter it's all part of the process is just kind words. What we need to do is help our poor friend here be a man and write. Okay. All right. All right, maybe I could use a little help here and there, but I don't need any pity. No, it's not pity. We believe in you. We just don't want to come back and have the same conversation. So just don't start again. That would be a disaster, wouldn't it, Sam? I think he's right, Peter. I know it's tempting to want to forget everything and start again on a blank page, but then you're risking making the same mistakes all over again. You know, sometimes it's better to see where you've gone wrong, that's all. Let it help you. Good things might come of it. Good things like a promotion, I might add. Like Joseph says, don't start again. All right, then. What do you suggest, Sam? I know what you need. <gasps> what do I need, huh? What do I need? <laughs> Go on, then. What? What you need is some inspiration. Like what? <laughs> Those three new girls. You know the ones? Undergraduates. They'll be at the Fox and Hounds this evening, and so, my good man, shall we? No. Eight o'clock. See you there? No. Don't need graduates. All right, all right, I'll come. Undergraduates, I whatever. So. And this <laughs> isn't you palming us off again, I hope. Although, I was almost hoping you'd say no, so there'd be two of those girls for me. Come on, just leave him to it. Good luck with it. We'll see you later. Don't be shy, Peter. Come along. Man or a mouse? Oh, there you are. Seven o'clock, I thought you said. Oh, fashionably late. <laughs> Come sit, I've got you some tea. Oh, really? Oh, great idea, thank you. Uh, sugar for you? Uh, one, please. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're soaked. Where's your jacket? Oh, uh, well, uh, not on me, of course. Um, mind on other things. The paper, again? So all-consuming. I can handle it. Oh, I don't blame you. I've been thinking about it quite a bit, too. Uh, you have? Ab about my paper? Yes. You sounded rather blasé about it before. Oh, I certainly didn't mean to. I think there's really something in it. Could you finish it for me, do you think? I thought you could handle it. Yeah, I can, I can. It's, well, it's, a, it's a beautiful idea. I think that's why it stuck with me. I know, I know. It, it, be something great. It could. It would be like <laughs> having a superpower, being able to predict the path of the clouds, <laughs> and next step, control the weather. <laughs> you could be Cloud Man. Wild Man. Oh, doesn't have quite the ring of Superman. Well, you could predict when it's going to rain, at least. <laughs> weather reminds me of home. Was it this miserable all the time? <laughs> no. Although Edinburgh always looked better in the rain to me, so that's why I choose to remember it. That's where you grew up, isn't it? That's right. I had a wee cottage in the Highlands, too. Our parents would take us up there once in a while. Us? Brothers and sisters? One brother. Older. Are you all right? Yes. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to pry. It's just, um, he was killed in a motorcycle accident near the cottage when he was 18. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. It's life. Or, well, the opposite. Uh, 
<laughs> How old were you when it happened? Uh, 16. But still, I have a lot of happy memories about him. Oh, at the cottage, he always used to get up early, go out into the forest, bring back armloads of wood, wood for the fire. It was sweet, really. The house was already warm for us. I like the sound of doing that. I could do that. Grab an axe, go out each morning, chop wood. So you could be the woodsman, then? Maybe. Oh, better than the cloud man. Stronger. Oh, no, I, I, I like cloud man. So, these clouds, you're a beautiful subject. What do you think we need? Oh, well, that's simple. More Hopefully it should... Maybe all save after well, this, they, and then we they, could go yes, on to the next but one. They need to be first hand, verifiable. The story's nice in this so far, though. It all has to be taken somewhere where the readings aren't affected by other factors. Sounds like you've got it as much as I have. Maybe. The thing is, it needs to be somewhere very remote, and I need to be there for a while, you see, to get enough readings. Mm, that makes sense. And I suppose the university budget doesn't exactly allow you to travel the world. Maybe. What? Well, that cottage I mentioned, it's in the middle of nowhere, a highest place for miles around. And now would be the time to go with summer coming up. All summer free? Well, I'd have to check with my father, but it's remote. It's just a little place in the woods with a log fire and not much else. But if that's what you're looking for... If you're sure... Promise me you're serious about this? Oh, I promise you that. Mm, promise me that. Anyway, no more past tense. No more past tense, eh? Hmm. Sorry, I, I didn't know how I felt about the cottage until I started talking about it. I shouldn't have said anything. We don't have to go. Thanks for understanding. But still, it sounds perfect for the work. I think I'd be able to find somewhere else, you know. I must be able to. It's just... I don't know what my father would say about me bringing an unmarried man up there. Really? Well, if you're worried about your father, we don't need to go. No, no, I'm not worried about him. He's just not exactly Morden. Not exactly ringing the changes like malls. Doubt her father even knows what she's up to. You should have seen malls on that march, striding forward in front. Shame he didn't come. Quite the force of nature. Do you think the bus would make it there? The bus that would cost a fortune. Not that bus, silly. <laughs> you know, your bus. Ding ding. Oh, oh, the mighty steed, of course. Well, the roads are pretty rough. Would it go up with it? Should be able to. Can always try. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would help my channel out so, so much. And I hope everyone has been enjoying these videos. Uh, please, if you have any games, any recommendation games, please link them either in my Discord or my community post. I would be so much grateful for any games that y'all would like me to play. And I hope to see everybody again. Bye.